Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We are jumping in and this is my 2000th hour, boys. I've been waiting for it to come on Steam and I'm at 1999.8 hours. So this is my 2000th hour. And for 2000 hours, I think I'm going to play a little bit of Eden, probably. Obviously, we're still doing some of the Epiphany characters and I will get to them, but... We have a special episode upcoming with the Epiphany characters. I am going to be doing a sort of interview slash episode. Um, ooh. Ooh. Interesting start. Guillotine off the bat. Low HP as well. Um, I'm doing sort of an interview, but sort of like a just regular episode with one of the developers slash contributors to the um, Epiphany mod. I was speaking to them... Um, just before and uh, just after the upload of the um, episode previously, the last episode that you guys watched, where I played as um, Tinted, uh, Tarnished Samson, and I had no idea what the hell was going on. So right after I filmed that episode, I messaged one of the devs and I was like, what the hell's the deal with this guy? What's going on? I don't understand him at all. They gave me a pretty decent explanation, and also we just discussed balance changes and discussed various things. Um... <sighs> Really not a great item here. Uh, discussed various things that could be improved about some of the Epiphany characters and just some various points. Because, I mean, most people that, w that have watched my channel for a while know that I've never been a massive fan of the Epiphany mod. And I've, I've always been highly respectful of the dev's time and the effort that is put in. But it's not really been my style um, in terms of the type of the, like how the characters play and stuff. And I've been pretty vocal about that. I think most people know that. And I think any devs that have, have made the mod know that. And hopefully don't take it too uh, too much to heart, as in, like, I'm not trying to offend their work. It's just personally not my thing. Um, I think, it, it, I, I will admit, I used to be pretty harsh in it, a little bit more so than I should have been. Uh, but the, the, the mod has definitely improved. There's been some reworks and some, like, sprite redesigns and stuff that I think have massively, massively improved the quality of the mod overall. Um, but, saying that, oh, guillotine, why? <laughs> we might end up having a quick restart here, because guillotine is, uh, wow, that's fucking awful. Yeah, guillotine is uh, it's going to make things pretty difficult here. Um, as it always does. Um, but yeah, like s saying that, obviously, I like I've been pretty vocal about it not being, not being my sort of style. Yeah, guillotine, I knew it was going to happen. Really, one heart with guillotine to start us on our 2000 episode. But now, we get My Little Pony. Oh, Grant, sir, cube of meat style familiar. Once you earn a chunk of tofu, all pedestal items in boss rooms. Ooh, that seems rather interesting. Rather interesting indeed. Uh, very, very weird item to get so early on. Um, what was going on with that rock, by the way? What the bloody hell is going on with that rock? Um... But yeah, I think gaining a better understanding from the dev's point of view and just having a general discussion will be really good for me, really good for the viewers, and just a very interesting little episode. So that will be coming up reasonably shortly. I don't know when. It'll be sometime next week, I hope. Um, but yes, so I, that, that will be quite a fun episode. And also like a tag team episode. I don't really do many Isaac episodes with people. So that'll be kind of just an interesting change to the pace as well. So yeah, I hope you guys um, I hope you guys enjoy that and are looking forward to that. Also as well, I should have my new mic by then as well. So you should be hearing some sweet dulcet tones um, of my, my velvety smooth voice on my new microphone. My new mic should be significantly better, um, I hope. Okay, let's try and uh, get to going on. Also, I have added a few mods, a few new mods. Um, definitely noticing some more lag, so I might not be keeping them on permanently. One of them was the Restored Enemies Pack. Um, Restored Enemies Pack plus the uh, Anti-Birth Re-Add ones from the Team Compliance. And I'll be honest, I haven't installed a single Team Compliance mod so far that hasn't made my game lag, so I'm having a high suspicion that it's probably that that's causing it, um, and therefore I'll probably end up removing that, which is a bit of a shame, because they are pretty good mods. But uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I haven't... I I've used multiple of their mods in the past. I've used, like, the Rune Rooms, the Additional Runes mod, the, the old version of the... Um, of the one that adds in the old enemies and items. They've all caused various amounts of lag. And I'm certainly... It's not a lot, but I'm certainly feeling it. What is going on with these rocks, man? I'm certainly feeling it um, a little bit. So I, I think it's definitely something that I'm going to end up uh, disabling and see if that is the cause. Um, hopefully, 
Hopefully it isn't, and we can find something else that's causing it, or just get rid of the leg some other way, but I have a pretty sneaking suspicion that that's it. Also, good for you, Sunshine. To be fair, what am I doing? I literally have an orbital and invincibility. <laughs> what am I doing? Help. Help down? What's going on today? Keeper's ball sack? I'd be down for some Keeper's Ball Sack, but we don't have no bomb right now. Do you know what? I am actually going to buy a bomb, because we're not going to get the money to Keeper's Sack. I'm going to blow up one of those weird rocks and see what happens. Back to the salt mines. It's a trinket. I don't know what that means. Right. Oh, dude. The little, the little guy's pushing me too much. Couldn't get anywhere near as much damage as I wanted to get there. The little dude was pushing me. Ugh. Ha, ah, I've got Ouija board. I can shoot you through walls too, you goober. Good, good. Chunk of tofu number two, electric boogaloo. Good, good. Pretty, pretty interesting start to a run, definitely. Pretty intriguing overall. Um, Little axolotl. Little axolotl. Yes, I like... I very much like having this setup we got going on right now. It is special to me. I like it very much, though. We can clear most rooms with this. The timings are about right. The world, I'll definitely pop straight away here. Ooh, stonies are very, very different with this uh, sprite. It's very cool. I like it. Good looking Sterny right there. Handsome fella. Handsome looking guy. Yeah, this is this is very, very nice. It's been ages since I've had um Unicorn Stump and a good orbital setup. It's been it's been a very long time. Yeah, Tofu Boy does shoot with us as well. Oh baby. Ooh, baby, baby. That is lovely. Oh, I've got some sort of bombs here. Bob's Curse, fair enough. Nothing special, but we'll take it. The Boboth's Curse. Lovely stuff. We do have a bunch of bombs now, so we can go into our uh, secret room back over there. Shall we go do that? Oh, Scorch Wood. I don't know what the salt thing does, but Scorch Wood is just simply too good. As for the question of the day, what? how many hours do you have in your most played game? What is your most played game and how many hours do you have in it? I think mine is probably Isaac at this point, um, but it's very, very closely followed by Diablo 3. Diablo 3 is a game I have a lot of hours in. Uh, I, have, I have quite a few hours in... It, it depends. If you class all the versions of Call of Duty Warzone as like one game, then that's probably my most played game. Or very close to. I think it's probably like sitting at probably 2,500 hours or more. Um, but I don't know if you'd class that because technically they're like three separate games. More tofu. Uh, I'll check the devil deal. Uh, Guppy's collar and that other one. I don't care about either of those. Thank you. Um, let's keep it going. So unfortunately, getting our tofu boy to the third level has slightly ruined our build. Slightly ruined our build. Are you open chests? I did not know that you did that. My key. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, the lag is bad right now. Like, I haven't actually dealt with lag in a while. Basically, since I got, um, what's it called? Um, can you get over here, little fella? No, he won't. Since I got, um, Repentagon, I've really not dealt with lag at all, particularly. But um, it's 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 pretty noticeable right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I definitely can feel it. Good. And it is not ideal. It is not ideal at all. But to be fair, I'm not. It doesn't feel that bad because I, I'll be honest. I'm somewhat used to it nowadays. Because um, because. I played like this for such a long time. But yeah, I, I like, I, I, I don't want to diss the team compliance team because I'm sure they are 
pretty good coders and they're, they're, they're good mods. But yeah, I, I just, I, I'm, it, it seems bad to say, but I do, I do feel with some certainty I can say it's most likely that mod. I've never not had an issue with those mods. I'm not quite sure what it is that could be, uh, could be the reason why. To be fair, actually, we've got, we've got this going on now. Can I still, oh no, I can't set it up. I was wondering if I could still fire off my little, uh, my little remembrance, but I can't, I, I, because I have to be able to fire to start it. Also, this is a kind of annoying room. Okie dokie. Keep it going. Take care of you. Ooh, that fire. Thank you, little tofu boy. And we got 25% chance to give it a bonus charge on room clear or wave clear. Spawns a battery on pickup. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. I think Toy Drum is a better overall, but the Lantern battery is pretty goddamn good. And if it can overcharge us, it's very good. But that, that's the main reason I didn't take it, because I don't think it'll allow us to overcharge. I very highly doubt it, at least. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to get my new mic in. Very, very excited indeed. Making some really bad plays at the moment. It's okay though, we got health back after that. I just I missed my Turfu boy. Level 3 Turfu boy and, and level 4 are most likely going to be walking, talking little fellas. I'm not sure if I want that. Also, this is a, this is a room that I do not appreciate at all. Oh, there's creep on the floor there. God damn it. Taking a lot of bad damage here. Just chill out. Thank you, Hurst Hat, for saving me from that embarrassment. Just chill out, game. There's no need for all these mushrooms. There is no need. I do like the Remembrance thing. It's very good at killing chasey enemies. Very, very good indeed at killing the chasey boys. Little chest, thank you, thank you. This guy again. Come on, Turfy boy, you can do it. I'm taking pills at this point. We are on the pill game. There's our boss already. Ooh, mushrooms looking pretty, pretty smexy. Ow. I don't like not having my Turfu son. You were just a cube one time. I liked it. We had a good relationship back then, but you've grown up and now you've become distant. That's good. I'm trying to get the remembrance on him whenever I can. That didn't kill him? Wow. Okay, good. Right, fourth level Turfu boy. Hell yes. And Rosary, okay. I will taketh the Rosary. Hey, so how that. Oh, we go again, baby. We go again. Feel blessed. Doesn't do much for us, but thank you. Right. Away we go, baby. Away we go. Okay, more of these fellas. Luckily, Remembrance should deal with everything in here. <laughs> yes, it very much did. Okay, Tofu Boy level 4. What can you offer us? Ooh. I don't know which is better here. I think I probably still stick with the Scorch Wood, to be honest. So, so far, Turfu Boy level 4 is significantly slower and a lot more idle at his damage dealing abilities. So, I think he kind of sucks. <laughs> I think Turfu Boy level 4 isn't, uh, he, he probably does pretty good damage, but he is not that interested in getting that close to things, seemingly. Which ain't my bag. I would like you to be a lot more responsive to the things that are happening to us. Well, look at this guy. There's a dude right here. Who, who are you? Who are you attacking? He just shoots at the. He's terrible. Who, who designed this boy? Who decided? Let's make a cube of meat super meat boy that's significantly worse. 
I mean, you can easily get more of them, so I kind of get it. But, like, don't make him this much worse. I'm sacrificing all my boss items for you, you goose. You can barely kill a guy on your own. Don't worry, we'll have a new son very shortly. Very shortly we shall have a new son. And I will not have to acknowledge you anymore as you grow into adolescence and I can finally disregard you. <laughs> you used to be my son. Now you are nothing to me. I have a weird room here. Another range up. Beautiful. Secret room right here. Ooh, what is this? Battle Fantasy, the chance card. Replicates the effect of a random card on use. 85% chance for a tarot card, 10% chance for reversed, 5% for miscellaneous. Does not replicate runes or other consumables. Replicate the effect of a random card chance. Ooh. I mean, I'm liking my little my little fella here, but this seems like it could be interesting. I feel like there's another mod that has a very, very similar... I think it's something wicked. Something wicked has a... Uh, has an item that... On... It's, it's like a... On use, it gives, it gives you a chance to use one or two cards at random. I mean... So far, so fucking good. Holy shit, getting a Hierophon off of the bat, off the rip, is... Pretty special to me. I, uh... I take that to heart. Do you know what? I don't take that to heart, though. Oh, I did it twice. I tried to destroy that and see what it did. It did nothing to me. Oh, that was some awful damage there. Either way. Let's keep this funky run and moving. I'm sorry to lose you, my little lovely unicorn stump buddy, but new item. New item. Let's go. If I was cringe, I would say this is Pog. But luckily, I'm not. But I've already said it, so I basically am. Right. That bomb was awful. I just tried to do it to move some of the... Like, get some of the mushrooms out of the way. Little fellas, little charges. Magician. Decent enough. Decent enough. I mean, a four-room charge card. Pretty decent. Every four rooms getting a random card. I do wonder if there's restrictions on what cards it can give you, or if I can end up re-rolling my whole room by accident, because I have a feeling with it being a secret room item, there probably isn't any restrictions on it, because that's the sort of stuff secret rooms give you. But that could be... That could lead to some wackiness. Fuck it. We've got uh, a bomb upgrade. Why not? I guess the tower is one of those things that don't typically take, but we have Hurst Hat, so um, it's actually not a problem at all thinking about it now. And we do have a bomb upgrade, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Man, imagine if I hadn't have taken that. People would have been absolutely losing their shit because I have Hurst Hat. <laughs> absolutely losing their shit. The lovers, that's the, that's the first miss we've had so far. That's the first miss we've had, but we're batting two for three. That's a decent average. We're batting two for three. I just wish my Turfu boy had some semblance of urgency. <laughs> Don't test me, boy. I will disown you. Ooh, we've got the Ouija board. Thing is, I'm giving up boss items, which means I've got very low damage. And I've actually got pretty good fire, right? I've got very low damage. So, I really, really need him to be doing more than he's doing. It just, it kind of annoys me how level 2 and 3 were just significantly better than level 4. Have some bombs. Didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. Tofu. You know what? I'll take it. Pay out, son. Pay out, son. How dare you. That's just a death card as well, you... Bastardo. Bastardo. That didn't kill any of you. Not even close.
There's more? Uh, oh well. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't want to get hit by the spray. Pretty interesting run so far. Pretty interesting run. I'm sure we're about to run into the Bible at some really inopportune time as well. I kind of think Spectral Tears should fire through the um, the white, fl white fly while it's still attached to the poop. It's technically not an enemy yet. Reverse Empress? Good, good. Don't need the extra key anyways. Okay, good. Kind of stomping through, even with our low damage here. Kind of stomping through. It's a it's a good 2,000 hour run. Although, not, it's not literally a 2,000 hour run. That would be quite insane. One Isaac run. 2,000 hours. What would even be the goal of that run? Would you just be trying to get every item possible? But wouldn't even be able to happen. Ooh, sun card. Here comes the sun. Boo -doo -doo -doo. This is a neat little item. I like it. Yeah, this is uh this is from a new pack that I just recently added. Um so we've got some thumbnail material. I always one of my absolute favorite things is installing a new mod and putting the new items in the thumbnails because you just know that the dev just gets giddy seeing their item in a thumbnail. Like, I know it's, like, I don't get a ton of views. It's not like I've got a huge channel or anything like that. But I always know that it's going to make a dev feel good to see their, um, to see one of their creations that they, like, just released in a thumbnail or something. So I'm always, like, super happy when I enable a new mod and get, um, get one of their items really early on. Especially when it's, a, like, a pretty decent item like this. I do like items like this, though, where it's not, like, a crazy unique idea. It's not, like, anything, like, way out there. It's pretty basic, but it's it's really functional and it fits really well into the secret room pool. 25% chance for a spawn coin with a coin that increases a random stat. Hell yeah. I'll also take full shit as well here. Why not? I can't afford full shit. I'm stupid. I'll take this, though. Um, yeah, it's not anything crazy unique, but it's it's just, it's it's good, and it, it's really, really, really fitting for the secret room, I think. Really, really fitting for the secret room. I think that's one thing that, it's it's kind of hard to, oh, I don't know, I wouldn't even say it's hard to do, I'd just say a lot of devs don't do it right, or at least don't pay attention to it, and it's not always a bad thing, but I think a lot of, um... A lot of items are misplaced in what pools they're in. There's a, there's a lot that don't make sense, especially the shop pool. The shop pool in modding is just an absolute grab bag of random shit. <laughs> like, the the shop pool has an incredibly specific theme. Has an incredibly specific theming in the base game. And I'm not saying every dev ignores that. There is a lot that fit the theme, but there is a lot that does not fit the theme. Um, there's a lot of, like, items that add damage and, like, a attacks and things like that in the shop that just don't make a right lot of sense. And, and every single time I mention this, someone in the comments is like, but what about the red croissant? Fucking champion belt. What about champion belt? Yes, yes, I know champion belt exists, but it's in, in Isaac, in the base game at least, every pool has a few outliers. And that's not a bad thing, but you don't want to fill it with outliers just because of a single, uh, well, red champion belt is in there, so I'm just going to put my damage item in there too. No, 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 no. You can add, like, maybe one or two to keep the balance of the shop, but don't add a ton. That's just silly. It's just silly. And then, yeah, like, I, th I feel like Devil Pool and Angel Pool are the best in terms of modding and sticking on theme. Because their themes are very strong. Their themes are very, very strong. It's pretty hard to stray too far away from angelic or devil items. They're pretty, they're usually pretty obvious and, and fit the theme. But yeah, like, Shop Pool um, is, is kind of the main one that comes to mind. Secret Room can sometimes be a bit iffy. I think most people are pretty good. I... For me, secret room items should be weird, 
usually, they don't all have to be like this, but like the sort of categories I think of is weird, run defining, or random. That's that's kind of what I expect when I when I find a secret room item. Oh yes, this is so good. Um, that's kind of what I expect when I uh, when I find a secret room item. Like, for example, GB bug I believe is a secret room item. It's not good, but it is random. It is a weird item. Then you've got missing no, which again is random and run defining. Then you've got um, Doctor Fetus run defining. Then you've got this item that I'm using now. Random. That's that's always how I feel like they should sort of thingy. And then, like, Echo Chamber is weird and somewhat run-defining. I think those sort of themes... Also, all of these enemies explode with my bomb upgrades. That's kind of awesome. I want more bomb upgrades. <laughs> um, I think that's really, really cool. Like, I, I think the secret room pool is pretty strong. There's definitely, like I said, a few outliers and a few weird things that don't belong. Um, but I think that that's kind of the basis that people should should go off of when they're designing, when they're adding items to modded items to pools. I think too often things are just like haphazardly thrown everywhere um, because either they don't know or don't really mind where it goes. I'm not going to say don't care. More, more just don't mind. He does. I'll take a Soul of Forgotten with me just in case we find a sack room. What the hell? That key is directly on top of that rock. How dare you. That did like no damage to him whatsoever. Oh god, the, the lag in this room is pretty unbearable. It's really, really bad. Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Ooh! Oh, I'd love to grab that. I'd love to take it, but also, why is everything discounted in here? I'd love to grab that, but it's an active item, and I really like this active item. I want to keep it. I do not want to remove it from me. It's pretty cool. It has not really let me down so far. It's not given me anything objectively bad yet. I'm sure its time will come. But so far... We are sitting relatively pretty. What are you doing, big brain? Well, we got the chariot here, the reverse chariot. It's actually pretty decent for us in this situation. I'm luckily sat in a pretty good spot for it. Worked out pretty well. Okay, we'll take this one. We'll check what's going on in here. If there's anything, again, run defining. What the hell's this? Angelic Wing. One eternal heart. Range, shot speed. Gives flight, but the flight is removed for the floor after three hits. The third hit causes se several holy light beams dealing high damage. One eternal heart and gives flight. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm going to take it because it's, it's another item from this pack. It's going to be a kind of long um, boss fight, but I'm actually intrigued to see if we can proc a teleport card with our active item and get out of here a bit early. Also, bosses explode into just giga nukes by the looks of it, so that could be interesting too. I have fly. Your creep can't touch me no more. Your creep ain't shit to me. That guy did not Giga Explode. Oh, oh that was the, I thought I had a game crash then. The game just kind of hitched a little bit. So remember, I do lose my Holy uh, Flight after three hits here. Could these ghosts get out of my way? Thank you. And take this. Death. Yeah, I'm hoping I can just get a teleport card and escape here after a few waves. But I don't even know if teleport cards are something that I can actually get off of the back of this. 
I'm not entirely sure. The floor. Thank God we have flight right now. The floor is a fucking mess. <laughs> oh, if we we got one more hit until we lose flight. Once we lose flight, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be. Oh wait, no, I've still got flight. Um, uh, my card, the card that I probably give, that's giving me triple shot, is also giving me flight. I'm lucky here. Very lucky. There you go. Chill out, you. Thank God we have explosion immunity, too. This would be awful if we didn't. The Empress. Good bit more damage there. Oh, God. I got a really itchy nerve. One second. Oh, man. No. Oh, ha, ha. It's awful. Ow. Oh, this is going to be... <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no. It's going to be the nuke of the century. I'm going to get in there with this guy. I just want my bomb upgrades, please. The tower. Kind of good. Didn't do much, unfortunately, but... Pin was underground the whole time. There is no more floor left. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of funny because a lot of the bosses have, like, basically nowhere to go. How did that not hit either of you? Oh, stand right next to him. Yes. <laughs> Good idea, sir. Good idea. Haha, -ha, baby. I knew it was plausible. I knew it could happen. There you go, baby. There you go. See? Got a really good flight item, and we're able to use our uh, active item to the fullest of its abilities. Pretty cool, I'd say. Two pretty good items. Also, I have to say, specifically this angel wing item, really like the sprite work on it. Really like it. I think the, the active item looks a bit two-dimensional, which I know sounds stupid in a 2D game. I think that's fine for the type of item it is, because it's going to be like a card, right? So it kind of fits. The other one, the Angel Wing item, though, really like that. It's pretty dope looking. Give me more bomb upgrades. Also more damage. I haven't had a single damage up yet, and Turfu Boy is literally fucking useless. <laughs> He's... He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, we've got huge growth, baby. Good old huge growth. Chain reactors are hitting. Oh, that's one hit. Our flight. Do not take her from me. Do not like this. Ah. One more and we lose our flight. Yeah, good to go. Empress. Okay. Ah, oh, broken remote. It's just a resprite of broken remote. Get your herming shit away from me, boy. Oh my god. Dude, this Turfy boy is actually depressing me. Why are you so terrible? Is you bland? Do you not know where you're going? Also, I like the fact that we have Hurst Hat and Bishop for blocking shots. Both of which, very good for us. The Moon. Ancient Recall. Ancient Recall. Boss Pills. 
<laughs> okay, Emperor, unfortunately, one of the cards we did not want right here, but I will take it. I'm just going to keep doing that attack over and over again, are you? Yep. He's got bouncy shots now. Yeah, he really likes this attack, doesn't he? Turfy boy, number two. Ah, uh, I mean, I've got plenty of keys, but nine lives? Why are you in the eternal chess pool? Why? I don't want you. How dare you? Honestly, how dare you? Honestly, the chain reaction is the only thing keeping this run afloat. <laughs> If they didn't have that, the damage here would not be suffice. Oh, we lost our flight. Alright, let's use the rest of our cards here. So, yeah, let's do one more room so we don't waste a battery. I would rather not waste a battery. Chaos card? Chaos card? <laughs> Amazing. The moon. Queen of Hearts, damn! Empress again. The chariot. I think I'll take the stars card, to be honest. Get a teleport on the next floor. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Why is my sister rival, whatever the hell it's called, like Scarlet Sister, lagging the hell around me? <laughs> lagging around? The Isaac tree. Alright, pop this, see what it takes us. Nowhere good, apparently. Okay, these guys do not explode, sadly. But we have our flight back. The flight is back. The flight is back. Let's let's take a look at Turfu Boy level 3 versus Turfu Boy level 4. Watch them in combat. See how one is a vast improvement over the other. Damage and damage multiplier. Hell yes. Finally. Some real damage stats. Did you get quite a bit of fire rate down from that though? Quite a lot more than I was expecting. Maybe an overall DPS down actually. Oops. So give me these large rooms also, they are extremely laggy. Well, Ace of Hearts, don't mind if I do. Oh, this 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 active's fucking great. I really like it. Also I I, I really ought to try swearing less in my videos to see if the algorithm picks me up if I stop swearing. Cause I, I have a distinct feeling that I'm like somewhat blacklisted from being heavily recommended on YouTube. Um, and that's why my channel's not like blown up as much as some other people's, because I swear more. But also, it's like I don't want to. I don't want to filter myself. I don't want to change who I am to appease YouTube. It's like it's not fun. <laughs> but at the same time, I should I should experiment for like a couple of weeks and see if it makes a difference. Although it might be too late at this point. I might have already. The damage might already be done. They might already have, have put a big red X on my channel and said don't promote this guy. Because yeah, it, it is weird. Like. I'll do, like, new games and, like, even Isaac and, it, like, just other people are doing the same games and doing significantly better. It is what it is, though. YouTube's YouTube. I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with where I am. I had a little bit of a crisis the other week about it. I've got over it, mostly. I bought a new mic. That was my way of coping. <laughs> it's definitely my mic quality. That, that's what I told myself. No, I, I just needed a new mic anyways. But in my, uh, in my... My my self-doubting fears, I was like, my mic quality is not good enough. I need a new mic. And so I got one. I've been wanting one for ages, and that was just kind of the thing that spared me on to actually get one. Don't think that'll make the big difference, to be honest. I think I think I'm just one of the unlucky people on YouTube. And some people might say, How how do you think you're unlucky? You have like 12k subs. But 12k subs is pretty decent, but in like six years of daily uploads. 
other people have done the same thing and had less subs, but it's still, like, it, uh, the track record of YouTube shows I probably should be doing better than I am, unfortunately, but, eh, it is what it is. We shall not dwell. One thing I'm very happy about is I do have a pretty loyal audience. You guys that do watch this have been watching every day for a long time, and I get a lot of comments on my videos, which is really, really nice to see. I think th having higher levels of engagement but lower viewers is my preferred way to do YouTube. I'd much rather have a video that gets 20 comments and 500 views than a video that gets 2,000 views and 2 comments. I think that's much more preferable. Justice. That's not what we wanted for this fight. Okay, my Turfy boys are kind of absolutely memeing on him right now, but that's because he's stationary, so... I'm not going to give him too much credit for that. Get ready for the nuke. The big boom. Up we go. Up we go. Can this iron block piss off? Swearing at Isaac's just too much fun. Ah, oh, I don't want to fight you. You're not going to give me an angel item, are you? You never do. And you're going to hit me a bunch. I've already almost lost my flight already. You did give me an item. It's not a great one, but you gave me an item. You gave me an eternal heart, actually, so this not bad. We could get an angel deal on the next floor, in theory. But you are going to steal all my fucking keys before I get to use them, though, which is going to be a real sad story. Chariot here is pretty nice. Good old chariot. Do you know what would be a really good item? To have single room effects last between rooms. Like, something that makes, like, if you have, like, the devil card, it lasts a time limit rather than one room. And, like, the chariot card carries on between rooms. I, I get that you'd have to basically remake all the cards and stuff for that to work. Also, playing just abysmally right now. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, why is it always you on the uh, thingy floors? It's always goddamn you. I lost my eternal heart as well. I'm not very happy about that. Not very happy about that at all. Having a hard time with this room here. Chill out, boys. Ah, oh. death in the wrong goddamn room there, didn't I? It's kind of like I have hot bombs with this scorched wood thing. All right, please tell me we're going the right way at least. Big booms. At least we got the chain reactions going, and most enemies are sort of killing themselves in groups. There you go. See, like, enemies like this, beautiful stuff, because they're just gonna uber nuke themselves. Strength. We like strength. We like that too. That was very, very lovely. Here's our boss. Really? It didn't even blow up the guy with the dude inside the pots. Stop creating spiders! Thank you. Gamble. Absolute gamble here. We're gonna get a chaos card again. So I'm gonna go back and get a charge and yeet that right at the, the boss's head. Absolute gamble of the century here. But it could, it could in theory happen, so I can't ignore the possibility. Mm. 
Right. Let's go. Chance card, you can do this for us. You can be the best of the best. No one does it better than you. Let's go. That's just flight! You can only add flight, I think. Luckily, Turfu boys sat on top of Isaac should do a good amount of damage here. The Turfu twins, as we call them. But as soon as he starts moving around, he's not going to be quite as reliable on that damage front. I mean, Daddy Turfu just... I think he's sick and tired of the world and just has decided to, to, uh, to do his own thing. Young Turfu, he's got... Young Turfu sounds like a rapper. Um, he, he's, um, he's got some spry. He's got some, 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 some spring in his step. He's still willing to put the work in. Big Daddy Turfu. Not, not even remotely interested. He is tired of the world. This is taking fucking forever. My god, the amount of block shots I just blocked there was insane. Stop moving, dickheads. We're done, we're, we're done with you moving now. Just die. Right. To the next floor, baby. Watch this steal all my goddamn keys. Oh no, it didn't steal all of them. And we did get a selection of dog shit. <laughs> These are three of the worst possible items here. My god. I guess I'll take fucking scapula. That was gross. I mean, at least I got that. This jeweler. Pot of gold. A fistful of dollars. A lot of random coins on killing air bosses, so lots of stat upgrades and stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Also, my fistulas are vibrating vigorously, which is probably a sentence that's never been said before in the human language. My fistulas are vibrating vigorously. It has now been said, though. I do wonder, like, in, in, uh, in, a, in a human's lifetime, like, on average, how many entirely unique sentences do each, does each human say that no one has ever said before and maybe never said since? Oh, one second. Right, we're back. Let's continue on. Yeah, I do wonder. It, it's definitely, like, something that um, I've thought about before. But we should be able to uh, get a pretty quick kill on Blue Baby at this point. I'm really hoping we can get a pretty interesting card for the fight from this... Uh, this old chance card here, but I have a feeling it's going to be something real boring. The reverse world. Don't mind a crawl space. I I have no idea where this other crab is. There you go. Oh, there's more. Don't 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 have more. There you go. Right. Crawl space. What do you have for us? Tony the Tiger. I'll take Tony the Tiger. Right. I'm liking this, uh, honestly, this, this penny synergy we've got going on with the stat upgrade pennies, plus the pot of luck, plus the pennies on boss kill, would have been really, really good a lot earlier on in the run. But it's, it's kind of interesting. I, I could see building a run off of the back of this. My pistols did not do much damage there. They're not doing much damage at all, to be honest with this guy. Wow, he is it's a tanky, tanky fella. There you go. We'll chill him out a little bit. 
Right, I'm not going to use any more of my charges on my active item now, just in case the boss is just around the corner, which I have a feeling it is. Devil deal as well here. I will take it. I guess I'll take this too. Turn soul hearts into heart containers. Kind of interesting. I'm not going to bother with that right now, but kind of interesting. Also, it restarted this room. Not my favourite thing to happen, but it has. Oh, there's an item there. Here's our item room, lovely. Right. Quickly grab at this. Well, Steven can join the fight for the last little bit. Hey, we got conjoined. Card, do you know what? Not the best, but definitely, definitely helpful. We are gaining fire rate and speed from the flies that he's spawning, which is rather nice. Should be able to get through this guy pretty quick. Unfortunately, he moves a lot, so our little turfy fellas won't be doing a whole hell of a lot. Especially the goddamn big daddy one. He's just useless. <laughs> Although he got there then. He got there then. I just don't know why they'd, they'd opt for him to shoot. Whoa, what the hell happened there? I just don't know why they'd opt for him to shoot rather than just do contact damage that he does much more of. Did we skip a phase there? I think we did. I think we skipped over the burn phase entirely. Why am I not doing my, my little fisticuffs from Turney? I'm trying to specifically trigger Turney, but it's not working. He's very nearly dead. Ooh, so much protection. Good. Right, he is dead. Cool, well, that's, that's our 2,000th hour run. Hope you guys did enjoy, and as I said, Hopefully, into the next week, we'll be hopping back into Epiphany characters and taking a look with one of the developers at a little bit more in-depth at the mod. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.